Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Steps Basic, and welcome back to the Comfy Cozy Community Show. So I gotta admit, I'm not feeling particularly good today. I don't know what it is, man. I did a lot of work in the yard yesterday, so that may be it, because I definitely exhausted myself to the point of, like, ugh, because I was chopping down a tree. But, ugh. I'm not really feeling particularly up to doing much in the court, in the way of recording or editing today, so I'm just going to kind of take it easy. But I figured we'll start off... Shoot, where I put my phone? There it is. Found it. It's in my pocket. Where it goes. Oh, it's a possum. It's in a possum. Look at it, baby possum. No, don't show me the lady. Show me the possum. Cute. I love possums. Anyway. Where was I? Um... Oh yeah, comments over the week. I didn't get a whole lot um, this week, and honestly, we're winding down again. It kind of happens, right? Especially with school being back, back in session. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, most of the comments t this week came from my um, my joke about. Um, uh, losing losing pounds <laughs> but I did get a couple before that um well one before that and it's the only playthrough I watched was, was on my little nightmares punishing little nightmares episode which I'm like <laughs> I like that that's great um paleo pines no shut up I don't care <laughs> n64 slayer bro thinks he's funny jk that's pretty good I, mean, I appreciate it thank you um Caught me on the floor at the end. <laughs> Hopefully we were able to get back up. Um, come on, the food isn't that bad. I wasn't really referring to the food, but then I realized, yeah, that can apply too. The joke being that you have to spend pounds to get food, so you have to lose weight to get food. That worked even better. I didn't even think about that. That's great. Then somebody coming with a WTF is a kilometer, and somebody uh, helping them out. It's a form of length, and I'm like, yep. 1,000 meters. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, Bubble Ninja commenting a few times on one video, one Resident Evil video. Leon Kennedy, friendly, friendly fire fiend. <laughs> and it gets worse in the next couple episodes. Flash grenade trick looks like a glitch, but I'm not going to complain. Me either. But I, like I said, this, uh, this thing has been around since, like, at least on the GameCube. That's when I played it, and I realized that the the flash grenade would kill the uh, big goobly monsters um, but also it's in the remake so uh, it could have been one of those it's not a bug it's a it's a feature type of bugs <laughs> uh, wow looks like Leon got tired of Ashley fast straight up knifed her <laughs> man I tell you what I didn't do too well on that episode it's all good though oh there's the comments um, uh, question of the day today, um, what's your big, biggest favorite, uh, um, your favorite biggest project you've ever worked on and, or, and finished, nah, you don't have to tell me if you finished it or not, um, but your, your biggest favorite project, um, so far, this isn't mine, but this is my biggest project I've done in knitting, and this is what I want to talk about in the video today is my scarf i finished it and you remember last last uh, last community show i was talking about knitting and whatnot and look at this bad boy man i tell you what i told you it was big this suck is huge but the fun part is it is uneven incredibly uneven i used a bigger gauge black thread than I did or black yarn than I did the blue so the uh, the black side is bigger than the blue side in a lot of ways first of all being I started off the blue at 80 stitches and then towards the end I realized one second <laughs> towards the end I realized I've gone a little bit more than 80 stitches on this thing. I even went and counted and found out that I'd somehow expanded my 80 inches or 80 stitches to 110 stitches. I had to go back and fix that towards the end 
Oh, let me put that over something you can actually, there you go. I put it over black. Yeah, you can see the black differences in the black over the black there. You can see it, it's great. But yeah, there you go. I, I fixed it by dropping a few stitches at the end of it. Um, uh, but yeah, it's still significantly larger than the blue side. Oops, sorry. Which is, you know, roughly there. And I would say a more manageable size of scarf. And you remember I said that it was already twice as big as what it was supposed to be. Uh, well, that just, in a way, made it even bigger. Now, unfortunately, being a big guy like I am, thank you, my scarf doesn't really fit too well as a, a full big scarf. Fancy. But one thing it does kind of work as is a headscarf. <laughs> look at me, I look so cool. Well, I guess technically I look warm. I could even say I look comfy and cozy for the community show. Here we go. That's what's up right there. Now, I can still wrap it, but it leaves a nice little big blop right there. So it's like, meh. <laughs> but it does still work as a scarf. And I honestly am, I, I like it more than I thought I was going to. As someone who doesn't really wear scarves too much, I like it. It's cool. And on top of it all, apart from being a, a nice head covering and a uh, an effective scarf, I can fold it up in and over itself. And boom makes a good pillow too <laughs> uh, I like it despite the flaws and everything and and honestly this was a bit of a learning experience where I was trying to figure out what I was doing and everything I did a good job I'm very proud of it my f can't really say it's my favorite biggest project I've ever worked on because I've written books but um, like as far as what I've done knitting so far it's my favorite I'm going to do another one um, next, and uh, we're going to see how, how well I can do that one. It's going to be a different type of stitch, and then I'm going to do one that it does, well, the next one's going to be the, the pearl stitch. This one is all knit, that one's going to be all pearl, and that way I'll learn both, to do both very well. And uh, then I'm going to do a scarf that's both of them, except I'm going to... It, it's complicated, but I'll talk about it at some point. But I'm going to do a whole bunch of scarves first. You know, that's way the practice and whatnot, and getting used to the whole thing. But anyway, yeah, that, that's kind of what I wanted to do today is, is just kind of talk about that. Honestly, I didn't want to do a video at all today, but I was like, I should, just to be nice. And because I'm sick, or not feeling well, I should say, not sick, but not feeling well, you know, there's a difference. I'm going to leave this here. <laughs> No real announcements for the day. I've recorded a butt ton more uh, of Resident Evil 4. Not done with it yet. I still got some more. Uh, so that's more um, far recorded to, to edit and upload. I want to try to get back to the idea that I had before, where I had one big, big uh, series going on, and then a bunch of like smaller episodes of things to put up. But you know, there you have it. That's what we've got so far. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of The Community Show. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you, if you, did, if you did, please go ahead and poke that like button more. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to comment in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And when I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time as we talk about another topic. And this time is Lent.